Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you watched my previous videos on R. So today I am going to talk about 10 tricks using the tidyverse in R. I am pretty much sure that you will have some new ideas from this video to take into your own dataset. I hope you will support me by liking it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Okay, so let's get started today's video on 10 tricks using Tidyverse. What is Tidyverse? It's a collection of essential R packages for data science. The packages under the Tidyverse umbrella help us in performing and interacting with the data. There are a whole host of things you can do with your data such as subsetting, transforming and visualizing. Actually, these are 10 ways to speed up data tidying with the Tidyverse package in R. This will help you to work with data more efficiently by simplifying your code. First, you need to load the Tidyverse packages. Today, I'm gonna work with Agrilus data from the ball system to discuss 10 tricks of Tidyverse. To obtain a brief description of data, we can use the function summary. Actually, some users may find it more readable. Have you heard about the names function? Which can be used to get the names and column numbers of the variables. Then I'm using the table function to get the number of records according to the country variable. Right, now I'm going to use a combination of group by summarize and arrange tricks using piping. This gives the same results as above but the results are sorted in descending order. Let's have a look at this code chunk. To group data by country, I have used group by function and to sort the results in an order, I have used the arrange function. In the next code chunk, I have grouped data by both the variables bin, URI and country. Here I have used count to get the number of agrilus specimens per bin and per country. The next two tricks show how to sample data randomly. There you can use sample n by specifying a number. In this case, it will select n rows randomly or you can do it by proportion using the function sample fraction. The next one is select. There are some clever ways to select columns in our data. So let's suppose we want to select every column that starts with the word species. Here you can use the starts with function and it will select all of the columns that start with species or if you wanted to keep all the other columns but want columns with the word species at the start. You can use everything to include all columns that's been left over. We can also use ends with function which is the opposite of starts with function. Further, you can use contains to search for dependency everywhere in the column name. So this will select all the columns with the word code. Right, then we can find and replace multiple options at once using string replace all. Here we need to use a vector with the string we are going to replace. The next trick is filter function. Actually the tidyverse style filtering only retains rows which meet the specified criteria. Finally I am going to combine factor reorder and code flip to display counts more beautifully in a plot. Here the factor reorder can be used to sort bar charts while code flip to display these counts better. By running code flip, we can get flipped x and y axis to see the count and the country name clearly. Okay, that's the end of today's video on 10 tricks using the tidyverse in R. If you've enjoyed and learned something from today's video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure to like, comment and share my video. Thank you.